Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service Office in San Diego, here to talk to you about Santa Ana winds coming in for this weekend, especially on Sunday. This will bring very low humidity and elevated fire danger. Here's the latest alerts that have been issued as of Friday. Notice there's several different types. High wind warning is the one I want you to focus on across the Inland Empire, parts of Orange County. Those mountain passes and highways will be affected, especially on Sunday, starting early in the morning. There's also wind advisories issued, including the San Diego Mountains. Uh, if you look further north in LA, you see combination of wind and red flag warnings where fire danger is a little bit higher. Uh, also noticed a freeze watch in the high deserts. That's for when the really cold air, dry air is in place for uh, Sunday night and especially early Monday morning. Uh, you can also see that there's a large area of small craft advisory uh, over the ocean waters as well. So uh, everyone's seeing a little bit of wind. Overall, a moderate Santa Ana wind event, but locally strong winds uh, in parts of the Inland Empire and LA County areas. Here are the highlights. Santa Ana winds coming in. They're gonna start Saturday night. They'll be blowing strong uh, in our northern areas like the Inland Empire by Sunday morning. Uh, they're going to continue uh, even though they weaken somewhat and they'll increase actually over San Diego County. That's a normal transition from north to south. Very low humidity on Sunday, Monday, some places below 10%. Uh, the live fuel moisture uh, is in pretty good shape, so that should prevent a lot of the major fire behavior threat. But uh, the fuel moistures will be drying out, especially the dead fuels, so there is definitely an elevated threat. Um, and we could see some wildfires. Uh, the warming is going to continue Monday and then especially on Tuesday, really warm conditions on Tuesday, but on the contrary, cold conditions in the high desert and the mountain valleys, uh, coldest temperatures of the year for there uh, Monday morning. Okay, uh, Santa Ana wind pattern. This is what it looks like Saturday night, this Cold high pressure area will be moving across northern Utah. That's the tight pressure gradient. The wind always blows from high to low, but in Southern California it has to blow through mountains and it can't blow through them, so it goes around and over them. And that magnifies, enhances the wind. Um, on Sunday, we see that peak gradient setting up over our region, classic Santa Ana fashion, northeast winds. The wind threat shown nicely here, I think, um, Saturday night, it first starts in the Cajon Pass and then the Highway 91 corridor in the Santa Ana Mountains. Uh, but then quickly, by Sunday, all the way through Sunday night, it increases and spreads throughout the day on Sunday. You see those orange shaded areas all the way to the coast in Orange County and some pockets of red. Uh, and that's where the high wind warning uh, and the highest winds are expected with some local wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Here's a quick look at the fuel moisture. You can see that the fuel moistures for the dead fuel moistures are running right about average thanks to the marine layer and cooler temperatures. Uh, but similar to last week with the heat wave, with the warm conditions and very dry air, like, like having a blow dryer on the fuel, our dead fuel moistures will really uh, dry out quickly uh, on Sunday and Monday. Here's some of the Strongest wind gusts were expected in Inland Empire and parts of Orange County, Santa Ana Mountains, and that's why we call these Santa Ana winds, uh, are some of the strongest winds where we see gusts around 60 miles per hour, maybe even stronger in some of the windiest spots of the Cajon Pass. Uh, and you can see elsewhere on Sunday, winds are breezy, but not strong um, as you go all the way down to San Diego County, but they're offshore flow. Now, when we go into Sunday night and Monday, the wind doesn't stop. It continues to blow offshore. Santa Ana winds continue, uh, even in northern L.A. County, uh, Inland Empire, Orange County. But notice they do increase a little bit over San Diego. So some of our stronger offshore flow occurs Sunday night and Monday morning, as shown here in the form of wind gusts. Uh, this is a model depiction of the wind, and it shows you the direction of where the wind's coming from to help you visualize uh, exactly what we're talking about with offshore winds and Santa Ana winds. Notice that little pocket of no wind uh, around the San Diego area 
as that region is um, initially completely blocked uh, from the mountains to our east. Now, when we go into uh, Sunday night and Monday, still look at that light wind around San Diego and the blue purple shaded. But notice a lot of places, including San Diego, continue to blow. In fact, even increase uh, in San Diego uh, Sunday night and Monday morning. Humidity. We talk about dry Santa Ana winds. Well, this is really dry. Uh, near 10 percent all the way to the coast. Humidity down to 4 or 5 percent inland valleys really dry uh, so you'll feel this we'll all feel this the vegetation will feel this as well and really dry out cold temperatures why so cold it's a Santa Ana wind well it's coming from cold air and all that snow that just fell in northern Utah but that dry air will allow temperatures to just bottom out in our high desert and mountain valleys especially Sunday night and Monday morning should be the coldest temperatures of the years so uh, frost and freeze potential is, is definitely high in the Mojave Desert, the high desert areas, and our mountain valley areas. Now, most of us will still see some wind uh, along the coast and valley, so that'll keep us in the 40s and 50s. Temperatures really soar starting Monday and Tuesday. Look at this, 80s across all of our valleys. Warmer on the coast than the desert. Yep, that's a Santa Ana wind. We stop that onshore flow, get rid of that marine layer completely. And so the actual warmer air mass is on the coast versus the desert. So we have greater potential. And that's why we're going to see the warmer temperatures uh, early next week.